So how does one of the world's top hackers end up working for the government, working for the man, actually working for the military? Well, I spent a big portion of my career playing computer security contests called Capture the Flag, kind of a global circuit. I helped build this game, I went on to play it, and when I talked to DARPA about this game, their question immediately was, well, could a machine play this game? What if you could have software that was so good that it could go head to head with the best hackers in the world in real time and beat them at their own game? I mean, that would be amazing. Offensively. Uh, both offensively and defensively. Okay. Completely change the way antivirus works. A little crazy. And, and, and Mike said, uh, no, that's impossible. And that's not a good DARPA answer. So I looked at him and I said, oh, okay, well, do you know anybody who, who, who thinks it would be possible? And he said, no, wait, me, oh, wait, I want to do this. <laughs> and the idea would be what? That, that a computer would be able to detect a flaw or a break-in itself? Yes, automatically on computer timescales. Um, What's a, I don't know what a computer timescale is. Within seconds, in, instead of a year. So, so look at the, the imbalance here. The job of an attacker is to find one hole in software and use it to break in. And our best data tells us that that hole will work for about a year before it's discovered by defenders. And that is a lot of time to be breaking into computers around the world. So if you come up with this machine, this is huge. This is going to be the virus killer. It is. We want computers to be able to defend themselves. And it's going to change the balance of power between attackers and defenders.